Because what I study is human beings and how people respond to media, I've always been interested in what happens with the next medium. Virtual reality opened up this amazing potential for looking at different ways people interact with this virtual world. When you do a video, you frame it, you tell a story, you direct attention to particular areas on the screen. In an immersive environment, people actually focus on what is important to them. The experience we looked at today was actually an ambiguous interaction between a white police officer and an African-American male pedestrian. We ask people what do they remember and how do they interpret the particular interaction. The Omnicept VR headset gives us information about heart rate. It does eye tracking that allows you to tell what people are looking at. And it also has a little camera that measures facial expressions. So we're using the Omnicept to figure out what they were actually paying attention to and try and determine if it's consistent with their pre-existing biases or belief systems. One of the things that we hope we can gain from this research is a better understanding of how biases affect the way that people process information. People are a lot more similar than they give themselves credit for. We tend to focus on difference because difference is what we notice. And we see this with stereotyping. And any information that we gain that helps us better understand both how this functions and also how we can combat it is very important.